Hi, this is Tanya Parmley with Freedom Coaching and it's Wednesday workout. We're in my garage today because it is pouring outside in uh, Walnut Creek, California. We only need three pieces of equipment today. We need a kettlebell, which actually can be uh, replaced with a set of dumbbells. So you, if you don't have a kettlebell, don't worry, you could just use a dumbbell or two. Uh, and if you have a yoga mat, that's great. I have mats in my garage, so I don't need that. We are going to do a pyramid workout. <clears throat> we're gonna do four exercises that we're gonna be pyramiding in an ascending pyramid. And then after those four exercises, we're gonna do a bear plank for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go back to the top and then increase each exercise by two reps. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do a goblet squat then we are going to do a push-up, then we're going to do jumping lunges, and then we're going to do push presses. Then we're gonna do a 20 second bear plank, as I said, for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna catch our breath, and then we're gonna go back to the top and do them all again. So we're gonna start with two reps of each exercise. When we do jumping lunges, it'll be two on each side. And then we'll go back to the top, we'll do four, six, eight, 10, 12. It'll be a really quick workout, but it will be effective. Now, what you'll want to have done before we do this is a five to 10 minute warm up. You'll want to have stretched your legs. You'll want to have stretched your arms. One of the things I like to do, I'll just do this really quick. I like to do forward lunges. I like to add rotation. I like to reach my arms up over the head. I also like to do big arm circles and arm openers. If you have some sort of you know, tube or something, you can take that, take the arms wide and take it over the head and get a nice range of motion. It's really important to do those kind of warm ups and get your body warm. I'm already warm. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell. I'm gonna rack it up and I'm gonna take it right here and I'm holding at the horn. So I'm in my goblet squat position and we are ready to go. Belly button pulled in tight shoulders down and I'm going to do two goblet squats. Now notice that my toes are out just a little bit and with a goblet squat I want to come all the way down as far as I can. If your range of motion isn't quite this far you can take it here. So here we go. We're going to go down one and then we're going to go down two. From there I'm going to put it down. I'm going to come into my push-up position. Get my hands underneath my shoulders, wrist elbows underneath the shoulders, take my legs wide, squeeze through those glutes, shoulders down, there's one, and then there's two. Take my feet wide, come up safely. Now, take those legs apart, knees 90 degrees, one, land softly, two. From there, I'm gonna go two push presses. Again, squat down. I have got 10 pound weights. Make sure it's challenging, but doable. Rack them, little bend in the knees. So this is a push press, it's not a squat press. We're gonna drive it up and do it again. From there, I'm gonna come down. Bear claw, not bear claw. Oh my God, no, I'm not eating a bear claw. We're gonna come down. We're gonna tuck those toes, wrists underneath the shoulders. Take those fingers wide, belly button pulled in tight, flat back. I'm only gonna lift those knees up a little bit. Now, I don't have a clock. I'm just gonna count my head to 20. Belly button pulled in tight. Yes, I'm counting to 20 as I'm cueing. Notice that I'm not dropping my head. I am really squeezing those abs and pulling in tight, shoulders down, lats are locked in. I'm gonna go for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go back up to the top. Now we're going four. So again, really squatting down. I'm gonna swing it up, grab it at the horn, legs are out, squeeze those glutes, get into shape first, get into a good form, and we're going for four. Four, three, two, and one. Down to push-ups. Going for four. Now, notice that I am in a solid plank, and I'm going for four. Four, Keep that neck in line with the spine. Three, two, and one. Bring those feet out wide. Get into that position for the 
Jumping lunges, 90 degrees, abs pulled in tight. Always land before you go into the next one. It's four on each side. One, two, three, four. Good. Now, push press. Grabbing those weights. Get them up before you start going. Little bend in the knee. Four, three, two, and one. Going down to my bear plank. Always get in position first. Toes tucked, belly button in tight. Notice that I'm not rounding my back. Back is flat, shoulders pulled down, get those lats engaged. Lats engaged, here we go. You can count to 20, or if you have a clock, that's good, I'm about five seconds in. If you wanna add a little bit of challenge to this, you can try taking one arm out. You really wanna push the weight into the supporting hand. Make sure that you're not rocking those hips. That's about 20 seconds. Drop the knees, come on back, and rest. So we're moving up to six now. So we're back to the goblet squats. Squatting down, legs wide, rack it up. Here we go, six. Inhale on the down, exhale on the up. Squeeze through those glutes. Body weight in those heels, I got two more. One more. And perfect. Put it down into push-ups. Now, if my form starts to get kind of wonky, if my back starts to sag, or if I feel like something's not right, I'm gonna take it to my knees. So I'm going for six, wrist, elbows lined up under those shoulders, taking my feet out wide, elbows locked in. Here we go. One, two, I'm squeezing my glutes, three, four, five, and six. Knees down. Coming up into my jumping lunges, facing forward this time. Again, 90 degree bend. Abs tight, shoulders down. I don't want to be tense. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add a little bit of variety there, jumped a little to the side. So we're going into push press. Here we go. A little bend in the knees. Remember, this is not a squat press. Bring it up to the shoulders, we're going for six. Two, three, locking out those elbows. Four. Keep the shoulders down. And six, going into that bear plank. Okay, tuck those toes. It's your call if you want to add that shoulder out. Here we go. So what we really want to work here, push that earth away, neck in line with the spine, belly button pulled in tight. About 10 seconds in, 10, nine, eight, seven, you're feeling it in the quads. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, catch your breath. Going up to eight. So we have three sets left, we're pyramiding up. And if you feel like this isn't enough for you, once you get to 12, you can pyramid back down. But right now we're here at eight. So again, I'm gonna squat down. I'm using a 25 pound kettlebell. You can see as you get to the higher reps, the heart rate starts to go up a little bit more. Okay, we're going up to eight. Here we go. One, two. Of course, if you need rest after that bear plank, you can take it. And five, six, seven, and eight. Put it down. Going into the push-ups. Eight push-ups. Line up first, always make sure you're in good form before you start your push-ups. Squeeze the glutes, and here we go. Eight, seven, go at your pace. Six, 
five, I'm gonna drop to my knees now. Four, three, I got a better range of motion here. Two, and one. Coming into my jumping lunges. One foot in front of the other, I'll try not to go side to side this time. One. Four, five, notice my arms are helping me a little bit, six, seven, and eight. And back to the push press. We're almost there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go into the bear plank. So this takes a lot of control. Might look easy, it's not. I'm gonna push my hands down, tuck my toes, belly button pulled in. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna try to take one arm out to the side, making sure that hip doesn't come down. And try it on the other side. I'm gonna really focus on keeping that hip square. I'm gonna be close to 20 seconds. I'm having to really drive that hand into the ground. And that, right about 20 seconds. Good. Okay, moving up to 10. Two sets left. You can tell my heart rate's going up. Weight feels heavier now. So again, I'm getting it ready, taking my legs out wider, racking it, holding it close to the ball of the kettlebell. Here we go, I'm going for 10. One, two, three, four, almost there. Five, this workout gets your heart rate up. Six, seven, nine, one more. And going down for push-ups. I'm gonna go into push-ups on my knees now because this way I know that I'm gonna get full range of motion. So whenever your push-ups start to sacrifice form, it does not make you a weaker person to be on your knees. You're actually getting a much better workout by being on the knees and getting a full range of motion. So wrist elbows under the shoulders. Everything else stays the same. Your belly button is pulled in tight, you're squeezing your glutes. Get those elbows close to the body, so we're working the triceps and the lats. Here we go. One, two, three. You wanna make these a little bit more challenging, go down slower and come up faster. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, jumping lunges, right into them. Let's finish this, okay? Got your 90 degree bend. Try to stay nice and straight, follow a line, here we go. One, two. Now if you get a little tighter, you can step it out. Okay, I think that was four. But if you're feeling really good, just keep it going. Six, seven, eight, Land in that heel, nine and 10. Whew, feeling it. Grab your weights, we're at 10. Here we go. So not just an overhead press, but a push press. A little bit of leg in here, not much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Bear plank. And one more round. Unless, of course, you decide you need more. And then you can reverse the pyramid. Here we go. Bear plank. Wrist elbows under the shoulders. Toes tucked. Belly button pulled in tight. Shoulders down. Here we go. 20 seconds. Make sure that you can look side to side. Do a body check. Are you pushing the earth away? Are your knees just about an inch 
No more than two off the floor. That's about 20 seconds. And let's finish this off. So we are at the final round. 12 reps of everything. Listen to your body. If you need a little bit longer than what I'm giving you, take it. So get those legs wide, belly button pulled in tight, squat down, grab it, lats engaged, bring it up, and let's do it. 12, one, two, squeeze your glutes, keep those shoulders down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, remember if your range of motion is right here, that's fine, 10, 11, 12, good, going down for the last set of push-ups, and again, I'm going to keep them on my knees, reason being, I'm not going to be able to push out 12 really solid push-ups anymore, so I'm going to stay on my knees, because these I know are going to be solid, here we go, notice that my elbows aren't splaying out, they are close to my body, here I go, 12, 11, my neck is in line with the spine, 10, 9, 8, 7, got four more, 4, 3, 2, and 1, very nicely done, I know you did them, you did them, you did, you've done them and you did a good job, last 12 jumping lunges, here we go. Get that knee lined up with that ankle. Keep the chest up. So what we want to avoid is this. We want to avoid this, right? We want to keep everything nice and engaged. Here we go, last 12. It's not about the speed. It's about the control. Here we breathe in. Two more. I'm glad we're done with that. Okay. So let's finish this out. 12 push presses. A little bit of leg, not too much. We're going to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Get that extension. In the elbow, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Finish it off with that last bear plank. And we are done. So, wrist elbows lined up, toes tucked. We're not like this. Everything's nice and solid. Belly button pulled in tight, lift that rib cage. Make sure that head is able to just easily look side to side. Here we go. You should count to about 20. Push away. You should be really proud of yourself. Initially, you might think, gosh, Tanya, just going up to 12 doesn't seem like very much, but it is. Like I said, if you need more, do the same workout. We've got five, four, three, two, and you are done. Now, all you did was four exercises ascending up in a pyramid. If you need more, simply that, take what you just did and descend down. Go 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. And you'll add on some more time, you'll add on some more reps. Of course, this depends on how much weight you use. And it will make you stronger. You've got your heart rate up, and hopefully you got a really good workout from this. I know I did, and it took us about maybe 15 minutes. So great job, everybody, and have a great day. Again, this is Tanya Parmley with Freedom Coaching.